G'day, by Dickheads, Vaping Bogan, back again for another Best Ofs 2023. Today we're going to cover the RTA category, the Rebuildable Tank Atomizers. Now we had a pretty decent uh, year for RTAs, obviously not the same level as the Boros, but uh, solid 10 RTAs is what I've uh, reviewed over the last year or so, which is nearly one a month. That's not too bad. So we're going to go through uh, my favourite of the five, alright? So when I say best, again this is just me favourites, you might disagree. There was probably a few RTAs that I didn't get to uh, review, didn't receive them, so uh, there was probably more than 10, but 10's what I got. So we'll go through my top five out of the lot, and uh, in no particular order here, we're not sort of going one to five or anything like that, uh, but uh, we'll kick things off with uh, a classic. The Kylan 3 from Vandy Vape. Now the original Kylan came out many years ago and was a real banger for its time, and uh, over the years we've had some single coils, we've had some minis, we've had some fucking mesh versions, and uh, this year they brought out the sort of V3 of the original sort of dual coil design. So this is great for just those big decent cloudy coils and uh, you know a, a nice sized mod if you like vaping at that sort of 60 to 100 watts uh, this thing was fantastic lots of room in there for your coils and uh, got that sort of classic Kylan airflow getting right around it in almost a 360 degree uh, flow so uh, really nice flavor off this thing uh, and top airflow now so uh, you didn't have to worry so much about uh, condensation and leaking but yeah just a really solid solid dual coil RTA. If you're looking for a single coil, then uh, I reckon the Blaze Solo from uh, THC, Thunderhead Creations, and Mr. Mike Vapes uh, would be a pretty good choice. Uh, following on from the dual coil Blaze, uh, this is yeah built for your single coils, top airflow again, and uh, yeah, really good flavor. Got a sort of similar design uh, with the airflow to a Kylan, comes down, gets right underneath and around the sides of the coil. So yeah, great flavor, good for a, a proper direct lung single coil. Coil RTA, put a nice big single uh, in there and get some great flavor and uh, real nice smooth airflow with that honeycomb uh, inlet at the top there. So yeah, fantastic work from Mike Vapes and uh, THC. If you're looking for something strictly mouth to lung and on a budget, then uh, the Valor MTL RTA from Cthulhu is definitely my pick from the year. Really cheap and really decent. It's straight up just MTL. It doesn't have any sort of direct lung options. Got a, a simple simple airflow pin under the coil system. I think it looks really nice. It's real compact. The flavor was fantastic. Proper mouth to lung airflow. Came with three different drip tips, which is a nice touch, and uh, frosted glass as well as regular glass. So in terms of bang for buck and performance, uh, the Valor, very, very good. Another dual coil banger would be the Osiris Mini from Vapors Cloud. They also did the full size. This one is 25 millimeters. The, uh, the big boy, I think, is 30. It's got a unique little uh, release system on the base here for the deck so nice and easy to get your uh, wicking done and back in there and uh, also a bit of juice flow control so good if you're traveling on a plane uh, just real nice dual coil airflow and flavor plenty of room for your coils and uh, yeah plenty of airflow real nice and smooth just a, a solid classic kind of uh, bottom airflow dual coiler with uh, yeah a clever little uh, release system now I know I said I wasn't really doing a one to five rating on these but I do have a favorite, a sort of number one spot, uh, the RTA that I probably most used this year, and that would be from at Mizzou, the Tripod V2. Really nice, well built. The quality is fantastic on this thing and the design very clever. It's got a pin system that allows you to access it underneath the deck rather than having to take your coils out and fuck around with your build. So you can swap airflow on the fly. It's got juice flow control. It's got a uh, extension kit available if you want to extend the capacity. Really, really nice looking. Build quality, as I said, was uh, exceptional. And the vape quality, fucking beautiful. From proper mouth to lung airflow right up to a restricted direct lung if you're into your sort of low to medium wattage and you like a, a nice piece of kit with some clever engineering, uh, this thing is definitely my choice. Not the drip tip she comes with. Shout out to Nick's Tips, N-I-X, definitely uh, my drip tipper of the year. Fantastic work from him 
as always. So there you go, there's my top five, a bit of a mixed bag there. We had a good array of options, I think, in the RTA department this year, a bit of uh, mouth to lung, a bit of single coil, a bit of classic dual coil. There were some real big stomping tanks as well. We saw a, a massive uh, Valkyrie from Vapors Cloud. So a pretty solid year for the RTA users, but uh, as always, I never get to review everything. There's plenty of stuff out there that uh, I didn't see, but yeah, out of the shit that I got, that's the stuff I reckon's pretty good. So I'll leave it there, dickheads. If you want more information on those five RTAs, uh, there's a link in the description to uh, my RTA playlist. I've got full reviews on all of those products and uh, sort of wicking tutorials and things like that. I'll put the usual Instagram and Facebook links down there as well. If you want to see what this Muppet gets up to outside the YouTube videos, if you want to support the channel, please do. As always, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, share the video around because YouTube and their algorithms, they're not great for us vape reviewers. But if you really want to keep me doing my thing, then think about hitting some of my support links. As you know, I rely on public support to keep this thing rolling. So hit the Patreon page, a special content. I do a vlog on there once a week you won't see here on YouTube, as well as uh, access to my little Patreon community. And those fuckers keep me behind the lens, so a big cheers. But if you can't, that's all good. Sit back, sub on your fucking dicks off, or your bloody tits off. It doesn't matter what you're vaping on, whether it's an RTA, an RDA, a pod, or a fucking boro. As long as you're not banging the bloody bungers, that's all that matters. Cheers for tuning in. Cheery fucking oh.